Morning folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here again today and I've got another video for you. Today we're going to be looking at the clove hitch which is super common in climbing um, but it's also got loads of applications in many many outdoor activities so we won't kind of go through all the different places you might use it but we're going to show you today four different ways that you can tie a clove hitch with no problems at all. Let's get straight into it. So method one, lots of you will have seen me do before. We're going to make two little Mickey Mouse ears in the rope by putting in little twists. And the second Mickey Mouse ear you made, we're just going to pop it behind the first one. And then we can clip that into our carabiner. Or you could slot it over uh, a post or something if you were tying up your boat. So there's your clove hitch, nice and straightforward for the first one. Method number two we're going to go for simulates a little bit of climbing this. So we've got our rope clipped into the carabiner or into some cases the drawer that we're going to clove hitch onto and we need to take note of which side the gate is on. So as you can see here the gate is on the right hand side and that means my right hand is going to tie this hitch. So it's going to stretch across the rope in front of me, the climber's side of the rope and with my thumb pointing down towards the floor I grab the belayer's side, I then bring that over to the gate side of the carabiner giving me this funky shape and I just clip that newly made loop into the drawer and if I pull the belayer's side I don't introduce any extra slack on my bit and I can then sit back nice and comfortably. Okay, option three. Uh, this one's really good for uh, those situations where you can't clip your clove hitch into something you're trying to tie around an object. So um, we're going to flop our rope over the top and we're going to put in another wrap so that we create an X around the, uh, the object we're anchoring on. We then simply take our tail and poke it up through the middle of the X one more time. Pull that tight. And there's your clove hitch. All right, and the final method, this one is probably my favorite of all of them. You take your rope and just cross your hands over so that the rope is running straight still, your hands crossed, knuckles out and palms down towards the floor. Without doing any twisting of the hands, you just uncross the arms that gives you this shape and then you pass the loops opposite around each other and we can clip those loops together another clove hitch this is possibly one of the simplest ways to teach somebody a clove hitch and it's often the one that I go for um, with my junior climbers so it's just it's something really straightforward about that. It's nice and quick and easy, muscle memory. Um, just it, it just feels very natural. So one more time, we're run, running straight, but with crossed arms, knuckles out away from you, palms down. We're gonna uncross the arms and then line the loops up the other way. Clip that in. We'll pass it over your object and we have another clove hitch. So I hope those were all very helpful for you. It might be that you've seen them all before, might be that they're all totally new to you, but nonetheless I hope that that will give you some ideas on how you can approach tying your next clove hitch when you may be out the crag or tying something on the roof of your car. Whatever the situation may be, there's a clove hitch. It's a brilliant, brilliant hitch. Got so many applications in the outdoors, I just can't go through them all. Uh, in this video because there's bushcraft and sailing and yeah so many things just just can't get into that um, but it's brilliant not to know so keep that one in your memory bank and when the time comes you'll be all set. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>